Hello everybody. This time is extremely special. I have three days in front of me and two nights, which is the first time in history of my channel. There should be some rain. The weather, as you see, is nothing nice, but that's fine. It's not cold. That's uh, also bonus. My plan for the shelter is some kind of elevated shelter because of coyotes and uh, also the purpose of being hidden. So probably we'll build something on a tree. I have some ropes and tarp. So let's see what I can come up with. And I didn't take any special tools or equipment with me. This is my uh, camera bag with all lenses and, and camera. And this is my large backpack, uh, which I really like. Uh, I, I have two compartments here. This is for sleeping and uh, I have other things inside. And this is the main compartment for food and other stuff. So let's go and find some good shelter location. So my first major obstacle, I need to go over this creek somewhere. So this is so far the best I found, so let's see. And I am on the other side. So I found this tree, which I want to try to climb up to see if it's possible good location. So this is my view from the tree and I probably will not take this location because over there, there is a trail. I want to continue going that way. I will probably need to cross the creek again or at the other side. On the move again. What a nice spot. That's beautiful. Maybe I can stay here. My mission to find good shelter location is blocked again by a little creek, but I already have crossing, so it'll be easy. And yet another creek, but this one I will probably need to jump over right there so wish me luck <laughs> so I was not that sure to jump over the creek I do not want to have my boots wet but I found this old wood which I will stack and somehow build a crossing so I brought more wood to enhance the crossing experience even more. All right, that was easy but now cross it with the extra weight on me. Oh, God. 
on the other side. Over there is a tree from where I was uh, showing you the view. And my goal is to get to these woods and uh, hopefully there will be some good tree or trees where I can build some kind of platform or something like that. I think I found my tree. It's extremely friendly. So after at least hour of searching, it's probably the best I can I can find today. I can basically build the platform between these two, these two trees, and these two. That one and this one. It's getting darker, so I need to speed up the process. As you see, I put just temporarily uh, on these two uh, supports, I put two long paws, as you see, and I need to either put paws more this way or small uh, shorter ones this way to make a floor. Good, so the platform is almost done. Now I just need to go up and sort those uh, poles uh, somehow to uh, fill out the space and also to be straight as much as possible. So the platform is set. Now I need to put some bedding on it and my sleep system and tarp on the top. As you see it's getting dark. I am light. That's bad. And here we go. Beautiful bed comfortable and warm okay so I am inside the shelter finally and uh, I've got the roof on top of my head everything is waterproof and I have to say this is probably the most comfortable shelter I ever built the grass is excellent and uh, it's raining but I'm completely fine Ooh shaking with the trees I am just going left and right oh my goodness it's gonna be a rough night and I forgot to say I am hungry as a dog so I will eat now I simply love the military sleep system Let me give you just a quick tour through the shelter. So here is the gear area. Uh, my big backpack covered by true spec parka and poncho made the rain protection. And I have my trusted self inflatable mat. And here is the covered entrance by garbage bag against wind and possible rain. Plans for tomorrow, I will definitely improve the shelter, I will uh, collect more grass and will uh, patch the holes and also will try to make it more comfortable. Uh, other plans with the shelter, I will try to raise the sides of the shelter by adding some wood. Additional detail, the temperature here at the top is 52 Fahrenheit. If nothing, I will talk to you in the morning. So, see you guys.
Good morning, everybody. The night was not that bad. It's around 8.15 in the morning. I am up from, let's say, 7. And uh, I am dry. That's the best. Otherwise, uh, everything is soaking wet around me. Uh, because it was raining non-stop almost entire night. Now, probably uh, breakfast, something like that. And after that, I need to make some plans. Uh, what I'm gonna do next. Okay, so I am on the ground already and here is the shelter. As you see, it's pretty high, let's say in six feet. So well protected against uh, wildlife. I mean coyotes, not bears or anything like that, but they are not here, so I'm safe. All right, I don't have good news. I didn't even start with uh, the breakfast and uh, I received message that the expected storm which should uh, start tomorrow, let's say around 10 a.m. is moving very quickly to our state and uh, I cannot stay here because it will start tonight around 6 so I don't want to pack everything in pouring rain tomorrow morning so I need to pack everything now and uh, make the breakfast on the ground and probably leave in next two three hours and before i will pack uh, the tarp and the poncho i want to quickly show you something the poncho has grommets on the corners and also has these gypsy studs as you saw me use them at the wubi modification but the tarp, this uh, USMC ground tarp or field tarp as they call it, it has the gypsy studs as well. They are plastic so it's lighter which is very good and you can also connect them together with the poncho. They are not lined exactly but at least a couple of them can be used to use it as, as one piece. And also here is one attaching possibility I just found some kind of rock and put it inside the poncho that's one option and also this is another thing as you see the tarp at the ends has this bungee so I needed to attach this middle one to the structure so I just put it under and just use this kind of toggle or whatever it is just to hold it like this and if I need to take it out just do this and that's all all right guys I am ready to leave my nest in the trees and uh, I am certainly sorry to cut uh, the two night trip to just one night but uh, I cannot control weather and don't want to fight the weather. It's supposed to be very nasty and uh, you probably don't see but it can start almost any minute. It's very grey sky full of snow and rain so don't worry. Uh, I believe this should stay here. Hopefully nobody will destroy it and I will definitely return to this uh, environment very nice here and uh, now I will go and uh, take everything with me to the ground and we'll probably find some spot where I can start finally with the breakfast I am crazily hungry on this morning I already said goodbye to blue sky but I didn't expect I would need to say goodbye to my cozy shelter that soon but uh, it's Time to go. As you see, completely grey, ugly sky. Ready to pour down. My little crossing is still there. Not good. Okay, it's good. Crossing is there. 
but it's completely unstable and rotting. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no. Okay. Is this fine? Please. Now the big step. <sighs> Made it. <sighs> and here is the other crossing. More stable, but extremely slippery. Good. Alright, I found location where I built the tarp quickly uh, and I will have some meal here. Finally! I plan to cook something like a pasta and uh, some meat but uh, I have uh, let's say two hours until pick up in, and it makes no sense to do it. So I will stay with uh, quick food All right, everybody, so I finished my meal and just waiting for the pickup. I want to thank you for watching, for your time and for your support. If you like this kind of videos, you can subscribe to my channel. So see you at the next video. Take care.